Who said that? Who said that? Go ahead, say it again. Good afternoon, welcome home to Miller's Landing. It's time to feed the birds. Um, some people were asking me, why don't you show your birds? And I'm here to show you my birds. Oh, my pretty birdies. Oh, my pretty birdies. There he is. That's the guy. That's the cockle doodle dooter. So one of the things that my girls, Emma Boy, really really like our greens let us sit right by them and hand it to them and they'll eat from our hand it's it's really cool so i'm going to gather up some stuff for them so many things in the garden bolted early this year just because it was so hot um luckily chickens like that part We've got some mint down here, and a little bit of thyme that's gone to flower. Also, I've got some sage also going to flower. So I've got the girls a nice little bouquet here. We have got some, got some mint, some sage top. We've got some Brussels sprouts <laughs> that went to flower. I think I'm going to be sowing Brussels sprouts again when it starts to get cooler. We'll be aiming for an October harvest on those. Um, I've got some mustard greens that I grabbed that we're getting ready to bolt. What'd you got? Broadleaf plantain and a couple um, dandelions and dandelion greens. Oh, they like that. They really do. They really like plantain. It must be super neutral. Maybe, yeah. Let me introduce you to them one by one. We're going to start with my mother's favorite grand chicken. This is Song, and she is an Americana. And you can see this lovely... Oh, not too close to my face. You can see she's got a lovely beard here. Look at the camera. Look at the camera, pretty bird. My understanding <laughs> is that Americanas have blue and sometimes green eggs, so we're looking forward to that. You leaving? Hey, Hi. Hey, buddy. This is cream. Is this cream or is this cookie? Look at the feet. She's got one toned feet. Yeah, but her face is so red. Look at these feet. Mm. You'll notice that Cream has just the gray feet. Her sister Cookie has gray and yellow feet. Ow, stop. <laughs> She's kind of a brat. This is um this is the bird that sent your father to the emergency room. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Keep your face far away from them. Don't kiss your chickens. <laughs> or if you feel the need to kiss your chickens, put up a shield cuz dude, they have pointy pointy faces. So, yes, hello. So this is Cream, she is an Australorp. Yes, you are, you're the Australorp. Hello, look up, look in the picture. Look at you, pretty girl. 
Uh, you can really see that they're very tiny dinosaurs. Yeah. Yes, you oh, are. Sure. I don't want your face any closer than that. Yeah, she pecked Bill square in the eye, like went in under his glasses and... It was awful and gross, but he's fine now. Fully recovered, even. Toes. Look at those toes. Oh, yeah, so only yellow on the bottom. Only yellow on the very bottom. Look at those fancy toenails. Right, can we get the little face? You, my pretty bird. Can we get you a little nip? Say hello, everybody. <laughs> She's very tolerant and very confused as to what's going on right now. Chill, chicken. That was a good way to kiss your chicken. You kiss them on the back. Oh, this is Bitsy. This is Bitsy. <laughs> That's Bitsy. That was Bitsy. Here she comes. Look at that face. She's a, this is Bitsy, so she's the darker of the two. She's got kind of black streaks in her back. So her toesies are just little yellow. She's got this lovely penny red about her on her head and neck. And she's very unhappy to be here right now. Hi, sweetie. So she is a Rhode Island red. Oh. It's okay, sweets. We picked the Rhode Island Reds because they've got really good temperaments. In fact, they're known to be pretty mellow. She's not really fighting me. She's just complaining. Who you got here? And this is Betsy. Oh, Betsy. I have her a little weird, but I have her under her feathers. Look how pretty her wings are. Look at how pretty her two-tone So she are. has less black on her back and she's a lighter color. Toesies are the same. Let's get that pretty face. And she is also very mild tempered. She's not even fucking, even though she could. Good girl. Right, She's okay. the mildest of the birds, mm -hmm. I think. Her and Song, but Song is getting a bit of a temper. Come here. Yeah. Come here. Let's cuddle. She's, I vote her most likely to go broody, honestly. She's always on her own, kind of hanging back. Are you going to hatch us another Chim Kim? I mean, maybe like one more wouldn't hurt. I mean, that's that's one of those things that like you don't notice that an egg has gone missing because somebody stashed it someplace. Do you know what chicken math is? Chicken math. Chicken math. No. You just engaged in chicken math. I think the basic corollary of chicken math is that you always need more chickens than you have or you're unable to budget how many chickens you want to have. But also, you know how there's always room for dessert? There's always room for one more chicken. That's what chicken math precludes. <sighs> and you just said, maybe one little hatchling. I feel like we might end up with one little hatchling. I think that like little baby chickens are cute, but, um, I think it's like gonna happen if we keep this together. <laughs> I mean, our coop is tiny, so. <laughs> is your dad really within nowhere. earshot? I don't know. It wouldn't break my heart to wake up to baby chickens. <laughs> <laughs> they kinda need to come into the house though. I have no idea, I have you to research. You can't let them get raised by the ducks. No. <laughs> We read something about a woman whose duck got broody, so they gave her two chicken eggs to hatch, and everything went really well until mom decided to take them for a dip. I believe all the chickens are okay, but they were really super surprised to be that wet. So yeah, chicken math, I mean. Chicken math. But I also, we need to figure out what we're gonna do about Zuzu, because I mean, I don't think that we necessarily have to do anything. I think that a rooster for the flock is healthy, but. There are other factors that need to be taken into consideration. That sound at 5.15 in the morning, for example. So this is Cookie. She's our anxious bird. You can see, oh. Honey. <laughs> I'm gonna let her run. So her, her face is more red. Oh, sweetie. And her toes are two-toned. 
You are a two-tone dinosaur. Yes, you are my lovely cookie puss. So when we were playing that game that all people with little chicks in the house play, which is, is it a hen? Is it a rooster? That game, you know that game, right? We were thinking um, that if Zuzu wasn't the law, which she is 100% the law. She's or in charge. He, he's in charge. He's a rooster. He's always been in charge. Yeah. When we didn't know if Zuzu was a rooster or not, we thought it was down to him and Cookie. But Cookie's the unpredictable one, you know, like. Cookie's the kind of chicken that tries to organize a frontal assault on a predator. That's a bad idea. Yeah, and she would just do it. And there wouldn't be any chickens left. Cookie's a little wacky. Her choices are suspect. Look at the girls like staring at her. This is Azula, or Zuzu. Yeah. Or Zuko at this or Zuko. point. Oh. Zuzu is Azula's nickname for Zuko, so it fits. He it can does. stay a Zuzu. He's got this gorgeous gold in his feathers. So we have been engaging in some chicken hugging because this guy needs to know that he's the law in the coop. But that we are in charge of the whole flock. Right. He needs to understand that he's sharing this flock. Hello, beautiful. I don't know these tail feathers? Can. Yeah, oh my gosh, look at these beautiful darts. He's gonna have a waterfall for sure. And he's such a pretty bird. I like the shiny places where the blue shows through. And the beard. Yes, he is an Americana, and hence the beard. And the very red. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. And the toesies. You have two-toned toes as well. You're a big bird. And kind of just hold him by the, by the crop at this point. He's not really going anywhere. He's kind of settled down. He likes you also. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Song is chewing on the kale I put out for the bunnies. But at this point, I'm kind of like, yeah, I put it out for the chickens too. So yeah, Zuzu. It's a roo-roo. 100% roo-roo. Um, we're just trying to figure out what we're going to be doing with him at this point. What we'll do or not do. I love him. I do too. He's, he's a so, good bird. He is. And he's learning. He's totally learning how to take care of his ladies. Mm -hmm. um, it's getting better. He's just super noisy. Not even by rooster standards, just in general. Yeah. <laughs> um, we could have a peacock. <laughs> Uh, no, we could not. <laughs> not after no. that, that summer outside of Albuquerque. No guinea hens either. Oh, no, they're so loud. They're so cute. They snorkel ticks. I like a bug snorfler. Mm. But yeah, so we're just going to have to play it by ear with Zuzu and see how things go. Um, I feel like he's going to be a good learner and that he can take good care of his ladies with time. 
and patience. And I need a better morning routine because I have to sneak up on the coop in the morning. The second he knows I'm here, it's all over and it's whoop It's It gets real noisy. Oh. <laughs> it really does. You can hear it inside. It's not that loud though. It's hard to distinguish from the chicken across the street. That's true. Um, also, I was thinking this morning, it was like 515 when I was out here. Yep. I don't think it's loud enough to wake anybody. Mm -mm. And I don't think anybody in our neighborhood is actually up at 515 outside of us and the guy down the street who's like, ha ha, that's my boy, about Zuzu when he was crowing the other day. So if Dave's good with him, yep. we should be okay, right? <laughs> So anyway, please leave your chicken tips, tricks, your rooster advice. I will take you seriously. <laughs> so thanks for hanging out with us today and letting us introduce you to the birds. We'll catch you up soon. Take care. Cookie's the Marjorie Taylor Green of leadership.